Yeah, yeah. Let's see you just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings each and every one. Just a check in, come to give you guys some updates. Hope everybody been blessed, stay blessed as always. First time over the Just Flex TV, just press that subscribe button for free. Notification bell, all you not even have to make a call. You know, it's a new week, new beginning. So for those who went out this morning, reach home safe now, watch and listening. The Just Flex TV, just let the Almighty be praised because of him and Lent nowadays. People, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. I'll push it up in our YouTube rankings. Also, you know, say have to watch a complete video. For you know what I go on at Jamaica because you know, say me bring the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some will say the indifference. People, just like, look up and share the video with a friend family you know somebody were close to you but anyway look at the screen this is missing Hilda Hutchinson right and this female left to a man Saturday to go look for a friend in Spanish town and nobody has heard from her since right people so if seen just reach out to the nearest police station I would just hope the best you know that Miss Hilda reach home safe so nine people killed in road crashes on the weekend. Yeah, my people, are that are going pan. What are going? Nine people died in motor vehicle crashes on the weekend. The disease including brothers who were driving motorcycles in Spot Valley, St. James. Right? And that is a what twin. Yeah, my people, twin brothers. Boy, just serious, you know? Ja, ja. So nine people, you know, on the weekend. Boy, I hear me. <laughs> people are dead. You know, just a crash and dead. More than you know, gunshot right now. I kill people nowadays. Yeah, you even start. The people need to go cool on the streets. Start taking the time, though. So, people suspect charged for woman's murder of Maxfield Avenue. Right? So, the Owens Bay police have laid charges against the suspect who was being sought for the murder of a woman in Nelson Road community of Maxfield Avenue. So, Romario Grant, otherwise called Kaka and Irons, has been charged for the murder of Irene Leng. Right, my people? So, right, they said them take the woman life and feel like say, everything good, you know? That caca there, hey, the man have a look, you know, man, the man ugly, you know, man. General, the man people are there rat back there, you know? Really, Max Seal. So, sent on couple charge after illegal gun allegedly found in their home. A sent on couple was arrested and charged with several offenses following the seizure of a firearm in the Bel Air housing scheme in Runaway Bay Sent on and Sunday. They have been identified as 46 year old Wood Carver Omar Henry, otherwise called Smokey, and 34 year old shopkeeper Stacey Allen, otherwise called Chichi, both of Bel Air housing scheme. Right, my people, and to get more of this update, you can just go over to Jamaica Gleaner. You just know, say, just Blex Cleaner. Yeah, man, I would just have cut and I got through, because you know, say, that we have to do. So, people, try to make a next walk up. Move on to our next update, where good Samaritan struck, killed while assisting motorists on Washington Boulevard. Right, the St. Andrews South Police have warned a motorist for prosecution. Yes, prosecution after the driver mowed down two men who had left their car to assist another road user on Washington Boulevard, Kingston 20 last week. Reports are that the two men, 37-year-old Javon Rodney, a motor vehicle inspector of Dagwood Place, Ebonneville, in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, a 50-year-old businessman, Mark Garrick, yes, of Rudolph Avenue, Kingston 20, had just rendered assistance to another motorist when this tragedy occurred. Jaja star, yeah, you must star. The serious, you know, man. And if you want more, you can just go back to the Jamaica Observer, you know, man. But we just say, Jan, no, condolences goes out, you know. Yeah, man, serious thing happen. So, peeps, intoxicated cyclist fell from bicycle and drowned in patrol. A 58 year old man lost his life last night, you know, night before last night, after falling from his bicycle and into a patrol where he later drowned. Relatives believe that the deceased, identified as 58 year old Venry Blackwood, was intoxicated during the incident. The patrol is located in Richmond, St. Elizabeth and was filled with water due to a leaking pipe nearby the incident happened about 10 o'clock p.m right my people just to be serious you know saw the foot and thing you know with the man lie down in a patrol for two i would just say judge i hear my people why i hear me man
<laughs> hey, you see the rum, it not play, you know. Also, a soup man called Tiger John in Opewell. Right, my people? Yeah, we'll just uh, give you guys as we get it. So, a soup man, nothing, you no know, people. You know, we sell soup. You know, he alias Tiger, a Tiger. Yeah, man, I that I go on, pan water go on, you know, people. So, yeah, you hear me, star? Boy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, you yeah, mister. Me have one if I, you know, I take him, take him one three points over. This serious. So, peeps, woman dies from burn injuries after uncle allegedly doses her and sister with acid in Barrett Town. So, a woman has tragically succumbed to severe burns injuries months after her uncle, Levi McDonald, allegedly dosed her and her sister with acid during a heated argument in Barrett Town, St. James. The deceased has been identified as a 35 year old Anthony Campbell. Right, my people, and we just said, Judge, you are good over evil. The wicked them have to go down like weebles. So, your uncle can really do that, man. The uncle is serious, man, in wicked, man. So, peeps, yes, star. It's like a local dispute, I go on, you know. And boy, I am me, McDonald allegedly threw corrosive substance on both women, resulting in devastating injuries, emergency. Service rushed the victims to hospital where medical staff reported that their clothing was completely burned off due to the acid leaving them with extensive burns across their bodies. Antoinette was admitted in critical condition while the other sister also sustained serious injuries. Right, my people? So you know, said so these serious, you know, people. Uncle doing sister, what is it? Sister and niece. So despite ongoing medical treatment, Antoinette lost her battle for survival on Saturday, October 5, following her death, police announced that McDonald would now face murder charges in addition to the initial charge of assault occasioning grievously bodily harm. You know? Hey, yeah, you yeah, Mr. The man the serious star and wicked man. The man a wicked star. If you get the full dose of the penalty, brother. Yeah, man, full dose. You know, uncle allegedly dose her and sister. Yeah, two person dose. Two person. Janus star. Two niece, it look like. So, peeps, man killed in Linstead Bus Park, you know, a stab wounds. So, the Linstead police have arrested a man in connection with the murder of a teenager who died from stab wounds he received in town center last night. The deceased has been identified as 19 year old Andrew Query of Cheesefield District, Linstead St. Catherine reports indicate that around 10.30 p.m. on October 6, Query was among a group of four men who attacked another man inside the bus park. During the confrontation, the man was hit in the face and sustained bruises and other injuries. In the ensuing melee, the suspect allegedly stabbed Query in the chest. They call that coward stabbing of people. Because four of them moved to this man, you know. Jaja, yeah, yeah, Mr. Nobody not for dead, but boy, yeah, yeah, me, me know why the man in love gang, you know, man. So, suspect being sought following fatal stabbing in Sentan. Right, my people? Yeah, that one here on the run. So, detectives in Sentan are searching for a suspect in the fatal stabbing of a man in Claremont on Sunday. The victim has been identified as a 38 year old Joseph Baker, a farmer of Coley in the parish. Right, my people? Jesse B. Star. Hey, yeah, you hear me? A knife attack, you know, and no, 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 gun, you know? Jaja, when you see them do them knife killing, and they easily jump out back out of prison, you know? So, peeps, 23-year-old man shot and killed in St. Thomas. Yes, the St. Thomas police are investigating the fatal shooting of a 23-year-old man in the parish on Sunday night. The deceased has been identified as Jaim Braham, otherwise called Ja, a labor of blacksmith, Lien, St. Thomas. So about 8.45 p.m., Brian was at McLean Lane in Seaforth Sentiments when explosions were heard. Right? Yes, sir. You know, McLean Lane, you know, Seaforth Sentiments, you know. You ain't gonna make a link, but come like, you don't know what going on. But anyway, to get more of this, you can just go over to the Gleaner. You know, this is the photo of the 23 year old man, Ja. Yeah, man, who got uh, dirt in St. Thomas. Right? So, people, you don't know the whole major maintenance style. I do enough talking, more start get to the walking. So, you guys just share in the comment in the section below. Come in, one of you guys not ugly like John Crow. Up top, blessing ain't no stressing. No, if but maybe we're not guessing. I am out.
And them for no side, I meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior works. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he and I hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?